So, to look at worldviews, uh, it's important to look at the dominant worldviews that we have in this world at the moment. Anyone who's educated within the developed world, uh, in particular the UK, the Europe and USA, tend to share a predominantly same worldview. And this worldview is based on survival and identity. The survival worldview comes about over the last few hundred years, but it's effectively based on a number of theories. The first one being Darwin's theory of natural selection, in which the whole arena of life takes place in competition, strife, struggle and conflict. Uh, then you have the survival of the fittest, and it is this that legitimized um, colonization of the world. On top of this, the economical uh, worldview was then established by the works of Karl Marx and his class theory, in which it was basically broken down into two, the workers and those who they worked for, um, the capitalists and the working class. And this theory basically suggests that uh, peace is only possible uh, through the eradication of the capital-owning classes. Again, a worldview that divides uh, duality, uh, enforces duality, uh, reinforces the differences. Uh, Sigmund Freud added the psychological domain to this, in which uh, this tripartite uh, part of the psyche was established, or certainly reinforced, the id, the ego, and the superego. Again, the division between sexuality and aggression was emphasized. And the whole thing works within the matrix of the Judo-Christian worldview, uh, predominantly Christian and uh, certain brands of Islam, in which uh, you have a clear duality between believers and non-believers, good and evil, heaven and hell, sin and sinners. Um, and this worldview, again, reinforces duality. Over and above this, the capitalist worldview by Adam Smith and the free market system emphasized uh, what was known as free market system. Again, something that emphasizes survival of the fittest. And this can be seen um, in particular how resources from indigenous communities have been systematically robbed uh, and destroyed simply in the pursuit of um, profit and expansion. The survival worldview is a worldview that effectively looks at uh, or develops when you're around 10 to 15, 17 years old. It's childhood, early adulthood uh, worldview. It can also develop in circumstances of poverty, injustice, anarchy, or physical threat. Uh, it's a worldview that's driven by fear and it's a worldview that seeks uh, security. And this is exactly how those who are in positions of power exploit this worldview of fear and security, where through incidences that we've seen around the world, there are threats to one's um, life and security, and therefore inducing fear such that the individuals then turn to um, seek security from those very people or those very systems that induce fear.